And today I'm talking about all things landscaping with my brother, Tyler Capolucci, owner of Spring Creek Landscape Company. I'm so excited to have you here today for everybody to learn. One, because you're my brother, but also because our businesses are very symbiotic. And I'm excited for everybody to learn a little bit more about you. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me here today. Appreciate it. Question number one, how did you get started in landscaping? Well, it started in uh, 1993 when I was working for our dad, who's a general contractor. And he was building a home for a gentleman named Woody and his wife, Marnie, who owned uh, Rocky Mountain Trees and Landscaping at that time. And I didn't really care for digging footers for my dad at that time, and uh, Woody was nice enough to offer me a job landscaping, and uh, three or four days later I was planting trees for him and a job down by Jack's Cabin. What year did you start Spring Creek Landscape Company? Started in 2006. And what does your company specialize in? We specialize in creating fun and sustainable outdoor living space for our homeowners and residents here in the Gunnison Valley. Since we are in the Rocky Mountains, what are some of the challenges with landscaping? Well, there's several challenges here. Um, Gunnison Valley being so isolated from the rest of the state, getting product here for us to install is uh, usually a major challenge. So there's a lot of forethought and planning to go into each job to make sure we have what we need in time to get it installed on the job. And then um, another challenge would be making sure to have enough people to complete the work and then dealing with the challenges from the weather of late freezings and snows going through June, et cetera, et cetera. So there's several challenges to landscaping here in the valley. Are there any rocks when you dig? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly rocks everywhere. There's a lot so of rocks in the Rocky Mountains. There are. <laughs> and we always have to haul them out. So there's always a budget in each job for getting rid of the rocks we dig up out of the ground. And then we bring other rocks back in to install them. <laughs> what kind of trees thrive in Crested Butte? The type of trees that thrive in Crested Butte are native trees to the area, which include spruce, pine, cottonwood, aspen, willows, alders, and a few other species such as crabapple and chokecherry will survive here as well. Speaking of trees, why are all the trees wrapped in burlap in the winter? Well, the trees that you see wrapped out there are evergreen trees, usually typically um, Colorado blue spruce. We wrap those to keep them from desiccating which means <clears throat> the, uh, the needles are still breathing in the winter, so if they breathe too much, they turn orange. So we protect them by spraying them with uh, anti-transparent as well as wrapping them with burlap to keep the sun off the needles and from them turning red and dying, which kills your tree. So you're protecting the, the newly planted, kind of newly growing, trying to establish themselves trees. Correct, we wrap them for the first season after they're planted. Okay. And, and they're good to go after that. What is the most important part of wrapping the tree? Most important part of wrapping the tree is keeping the weight of the snow off the tree, which we use a TP technique that we developed in 2011 and to protect the leader, which is the top, the highest point of the tree. So the top, very, very top is the most sensitive portion. Most sensitive, we want to keep that protected. What do you do in the winter? Well, we switch from landscaping to snow removal and uh, skiing, as much skiing as possible. I think a lot of people around here don't realize how heavy snow is. So how much snow can roofs handle? The yeah, roofs around here are designed to carry quite a large snow load, but uh, the metal can is what takes the beating. Basically having snow on your roof is like a glacier constantly moving down your roof. Uh, last winter they measured certain snow loads on roofs and it was over 50 pounds a square foot. Oh. So as, you, as the winter goes on we try to shovel our roofs when they hit two feet of sanding snow on a roof just to mitigate those issues. As the longer you wait the more damage can occur. Is there anything else you'd like people to know about you or about landscaping in Crested Butte? I think it's important to know for, for people here coming from other places with a large amount of water is that we are, you know, we do have a good amount of water here, but water conservation is key in your landscape, making sure that you're conserving what you can and not overwatering thousands of square feet of sod and using the water that you have wisely. All right, last fun question. What is your favorite ski run at Crested Butte Mountain Resort? Well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> But seriously, you would probably have to say uh, Hibachi Point, which is known to some folks around here between Funnel and Banana. It's a cool place to hang out in the afternoon on a sunny day and cook a hot dog. In the extremes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here, Tyler. You're thank you, Jesse. I appreciate best it. best brother and the best wow. landscaping company in Crested Butte and Gunnison. And give thank them a call much. for any of your landscaping needs.